Okay, so in this video, we want to give the illusion that Bob is moving across our screen. So I'm going to place him at zero, zero again. And what I want it to happen is for Bob to look like he's moving. And the way that we achieve that is using the two costumes that are available to us for Bob. You can see costume one, his left foot is forward. Uh, and then if I switch to costume two, it's his right foot that's forward. So by alternating between costumes one and two, I can give the illusion that Bob is walking across our screen. Now, the really long way of doing this would be to get my event block and then to move Bob forward one step and then to wait. Now, one second per step is probably too long. So let's wait half a second and then to switch costumes. So to move to looks and swap to costume two for Bob and then to move another one step forward and then to wait another half a second and then to switch to and deluxe to switch to costume one again and then to move a step and then to okay you can see how long that's going to take so what we can do now is to use something called a control loop now if i move to control i can actually repeat actions for as many times as i like by changing this number here so if I can think, if I can break this down to the simplest number of repeating steps, then I can just repeat that. So let's see if we can think of at what point we're repeating ourselves. So I moved a step in costume one, and then I waited half a second, and I switched to costume two, and then I moved another one step, and I waited half a second, and then I switched to costume one, and then I moved. Oh, and now I've repeated myself because I, this move one step up here, I was in costume one, and then I would do the same again. So let's get rid of that move one step and place this code into a loop. And let's repeat this, not 10, because we really want to see the effect. Let's repeat this 30 times. Let's see what happens when I click the green flag. So now it really looks like Bob is moving across the screen. And each time Bob's feet change, that means half a second of my program has passed. So let's think about this. If I move two steps each time this code is executed and I'm repeating 30 times, then how many steps have I made? Well, hopefully you said 60 because it's two steps per repeat. I'm repeating 30 times, so that should be 60 steps. I'm going to stop my code there, and I'm going to put Bob back at zero, zero. Now, what I'd like is for Bob to actually pace back and forth. So I'd like Bob to move right, stepwise, 10 times. Then I would actually like to repeat that, so I'm going to right-click this block, and I'm going to hit Duplicate. And what that will do is give me exactly the same code again, so I can make some minor changes so that I'm moving left instead. Hopefully you remember that to move in the opposite direction, I move negative steps. So this time I will be moving negative one steps. Now for these two to execute forever, I'm gonna to wanna to use a forever loop. So let's put these two in a forever loop and see what happens when I execute my code. We might find there's one small change that I need to make before it looks right. So I click the green flag and Bob should now take 10 steps from left to right, but then he should start moving. We can see the X value down here is increasing. Now it's decreasing and Bob is walking from right to left. But it doesn't look right, right? Because Bob is still facing the same direction. So we get to zero and then Bob starts walking 10 steps to the right again. So I'm gonna stop the code there. I'm gonna put Bob back at zero. 
let's think how could we have it so the bob changes direction before he gets to this second repeat well if i go to the motion block if you remember we had the turn block now all the turn block does actually is to to spin uh bob so we don't want to spin Bob because then he'd just be upside down. Okay, so if we want Bob to look like he's more, if he's walking from right to left, what we're actually gonna have to do, it's a bit long-winded, but we're gonna click on costumes. We're gonna duplicate costume one, and we're gonna duplicate costume two. We're gonna rename costume three, so it makes a bit more sense, and we're gonna call it um, costume one, and I'm going to go right to left. And costume four would be the same as costume two. That is, um, again, right to left. Okay. And for costume one, right to left, I'm going to select everything. And I'm going to click on the flip horizontal button. And I'm going to... That's done. And then for costume two, I'm going to select everything and I'm going to flip horizontal. And then that's it actually. I can I can now exit. I don't think I need to save that. And when I'm moving from right to left, I'm going to go uh, from costume one right to left to costume two right to left. And hopefully now if I start my code We've got Bob walking left to right until um, X reaches 20, because it's two steps repeat, repeated 10 times. Then he turns around and we get Bob walking from right to left. Okay, and when that repeats, then he should appear to turn around one more time. Okay, perfect. All right, uh, hopefully that was useful. Uh, and I'll see you on the next slide.